Hi honeybees, today I'm going to be doing my Easter home tour. I'm sorry that it's a little behind schedule this year, but hopefully you'll get to enjoy it for this year and next year. This year I did a lot of pinks and a very carrot, like carrot patch theme in a couple places. So definitely let me know what you guys think and let's go ahead and get into the tour. So here in the front entry, I did a carrot patch little theme. I really like how it turned out. On the bottom, I just have um, my milk can I've had for a while with some magnolia flowers that I got at Pier 1 before they went out of business. I think they're owned by a different company now. Um, but then this carrot garland, I got it a year ago, but I'm pretty sure I got it at um, Joann's. And then this really cute basket I found at Home Goods, but they also have them at Michael's. And this bunny I got last year from the dollar spot, but they do have them again this year or something similar I've seen. This sign is from Hobby Lobby. I also got it last year, but I know that they are selling it this year as well. Then over here by our little front entry bench, I have a pillow that was from the Target Dollar Spot around fall time. I'm just repurposing it now. My little bench is from Hobby Lobby. And then this really awesome sign is from Kirkland Home. I just love that it's a truck and it has carrots and just everything about it I love. Um, my mom actually purchased this for us and Chris was really awesome about how he strung this around for the bow to be up top like that. And it's like perfectly even, I love it. Over here behind the dining room, we still have that desk back here. So I draped a tablecloth, a cute Easter tablecloth, which I do still have to steam it, so ignore that. Um, but I love the pattern. I did get it at Home Goods recently. And then, then on the top here, I have some faux tulips that were purchased at Home Goods. And then I love the little bunnies. This one I found on Amazon. I just love that he had the buffalo, the, or she has a little buffalo check apron and her little carrot and then um, you guys remember this probably from my vlogs but I found that at home goods as well and then I found her at Michael's and I just love that she is obsessed with carrots because that's kind of a theme going on this year then I have this cute little basket that um, I've used many seasons but I found these cute little cups and Easter plates and napkins um, these I found at Target Dollar Spot and then these were from Home Goods last year I just never used them so I thought I'd put them out this year and into the dining room so I do really like how this turned out this year. I had a garland that I manipulated to be really full. It's from Kirkland Home. You okay over there? <laughs> that was Holly, sorry. But then I also incorporated a few more of my own eggs that I found at Michael's last year, but they do still have them. This one here, he has risen. So I just wanted it to have a little bit more detail, so that's why I added a few more eggs here and there. You'll see, this one's also added and that one there. And then this bunny is from Ray Dunn. It says something on the other side. But these two bunnies I got at Target Dollar Spot last year. I found the basket of eggs at home. And then the bunnies are from Target, Dollar Spot last year, and the basket of eggs that matches so perfect is from Home Goods. Next to our dining room, we just have these chairs. 
and like a makeshift coffee table at the moment. But I just wanted to share with you, I, I used, reused the florals that I have from Valentine's Day. And a lot of you asked me about these. I'll make sure to link them properly this time from Amazon. Hopefully they still have them. And then these carrots I recently purchased from Michael's. So making our way into the family room, I have Peter Cottontail playing on the TV. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Anyways, lots of carrots and bunnies going into this room as well. I'm going to show you each individual detail, but here's an overview of the room. So here in the TV cabinet, I do have some like little felt garland, little carrot garland strung up in the middle. And then over here, oh, first I wanna show you these cute bunnies. So these are from QVC. And then I have my little Easter truck I got last year at Home Goods. This I just put like a little vignettes I guess together. This looks like a carrot which I loved. I got that from Hobby Lobby. This cute little candle that says bunny kisses is from the dollar spot at Target and then this cute little bunny I've had for a long time and then um, I just had two of these two bigger coffee table books that I put together there and then we have our family photo there and then on the other side here I have some spring little stack of books, or it's supposed to look like that. It's from Ray Dunn, says, Oh, hello, spring, with a bunch of carrots that I got at Hobby Lobby. Pretty simple. And then we have this little piece there, and then another family photo. And then gravitating over to the other side here, I have this cute pillow. I just love that bunny in the truck, so cute. And then over here, we have our plant. It's growing like crazy. And then I have this cute little hop to it, Ray Dunn piece, our wedding photo. And then I love this new wreath that I got this year from Kirkland Home. Moving over this side, I have another carrot pillow. Grow where you are planted. I just thought it was really cute and I love that it incorporated the gray with that chuck right there. Here on the table, I have some faux tulips that I got on Amazon. This really cute vase I found at Home Goods. And then I just have it on a little riser. And then I have a tobacco basket with this super cool egg that has my coasters. So it holds all my coasters. balls on top of our candlestick holders. And then on the scale, this is from Kirkland, the scale, I have just a natural little pin, rolling pin, excuse me. That was from Hobby Lobby. I've, I'm planning to paint a few, but I kept one natural for display, like this, to use um, for decor, I mean. And then I have the little bunches of carrots from Hobby Lobby as well. And we have some speckled eggs in this one with carrots. And then I just have some bunches of faux tulips on both sides. I wanted to incorporate the pinks um, still with all the pastels in this room. As you will see in the kitchen, it has a predominant pink theme. And I don't think I showed you this up close, but I really like this runner.
So here I have some little egg wreaths that I got at Kirkland Home, and I made them into little candle holders. They have some at their um, at the store already pre-made as candle holders, but I wanted to use them for multiple purposes in the home, like over time. So that's why I didn't get those specifically and makeshifted my own. And then I have a Lazy Susan here. And then I just have a little tiered tray from Target and some cream and sugar, salt and pepper, little carrots, and then just little eggs around there. And then I have some faux glittery carrots. I totally meant to have these in my gumball machine that I was going to repurpose from the Target dollar spot, but it was a really windy day the other day and it broke and <laughs> was so sad. So that's why I chose to put the little carrots in the bowls there instead. And then I have some carrot napkins too that I got at the dollar spot. And then over here in my hut, here's a quick overview first and then I will show you close up details. So here in the hut, I have a very Easter candy theme going on. And as you'll see, there are pastel colors throughout the house, but pink is the predominant color in the kitchen here. So this really beautiful piece was from my grandma. She collected these rabbits. So I have two of them in the house. I'll show you another one in a little bit here in the butler's pantry. But um, it's like a cookie jar, it comes apart and I just love her little tea set. So I was inspired by her colors for this whole theme. I was also very inspired by the sign, Cottontail Confectionery, Handmade Daily Jelly Beans, Candy Eggs, and Easter Bunnies. I got that at Home Goods. So I wanted to do a very candy, Easter candy theme here. So we have jelly beans in this jar. I just put a little bow on that. We have the marshmallows from Valentine's Day. I just brought them over here. Um, this little guy's from Home Goods. I have a bunch of them all around. There's another one there. And then I have some lollipops with some fake marshmallow bunnies that I made look like little lollipops. And then this little egg plate, there's two egg plates here. This one says Happy Easter underneath it. I found these really cute carrot chocolates at Target for a dollar for like a whole big pack. And then under these Hershey bunnies, this is another Ray Dunn plate with a bunny face. I'm just going to quickly skim over the rest for you guys now. And next to the tiered tray, I have my mug rack from Magnolia Home. I have this really cute garland that I got last year that are these little bunnies holding carrots. And there's some also these little felt carrots. And these are all Ray Dunn mugs. And then I have this um, wreath that I got at Hobby Lobby and I put this metal little piece right over the top of that. And then next to that I have this really cute little bunny, topiary looking piece with little eggs, speckled eggs. And then going into the kitchen. Going into the bar area, I have these cute plates that I found at Michael's last year. This is also from Michael's. I love the coloring and the shape. Um, I also found these little carrot napkin holders a while back. And then my mom actually got me these adorable glasses, so I decided to put them out. I have a candle ring from Bath & Body Works, and it says, love every bunny. It's so cute, and it's actually carrot cake scent. It smells amazing. But here is my tiered tray. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen this already. I'll just give you a close up. I love this little truck. I got it at Valentine's Day at Hobby Lobby and at this time I repurposed it for Easter and I put some little speckled Easter eggs in there. These little guys are actually salt and pepper shakers. And then this little candle holder I believe was from Kirkland Home and my mom got me that. And then I found this at Hobby Lobby this year. Holly is very wild today. You're a wild thing. 
Even my drying mat is Easter themed. I got this last year from Home Goods, but I'm sure they have something similar this year. And here is the other side of my tiered tray. We have a little Ray Dunn mug, Honey Bunny, with a little birdie, a little pink birdie in there. The two bunnies that are on this side are from the 99 cent store. And then I have this little glass piece from the Target dollar spot with some of those carrot chocolates. And behind the sink area, I have these really pretty cutting boards set up. The butterfly cutting board is from the Dolly Parton collection from Hobby Lobby. And this area is pretty simple except for these really beautiful tulip wreaths that I found at Kirkland Home. Just brings a little bit more of a pop of color. And then to bring in the carrot theme, we've got a carrot little rest. I'm using it as a spoon rest. I don't think it's actually a spoon rest though. I don't know what it was marketed as, just like a little serving plate, plate but I'm using it as a spoon rest. And then over here, Bessie got a little update. She has a, a new little bell that I just strung around some twine. And I think it looks really cute. I love it. So that'll be her all year long bell, but I'll switch it out to the wreath and stuff at Christmas time. And then this is our little Easter candy section. I love how this turned out. So I layered Easter candy in these um, apothecary jars. I did see this idea on Etsy last year and I never was able to get you know, the time to execute it. So this year I did. This one I have M&M eggs, speckled eggs, with some pink grass and a solid chocolate bunny. And then over here I have some peeps with lollipops and speckled malt ball eggs and some of those carrot candies on the top. And then here we have some jelly beans, some Kit Kats, just a bunch of layered candy. And I thought he looked like a chocolate bunny so he had to be up with these. Moving over here, I have another cute little Easter display with some layered cookies. And then over here I have a garland that has some speckled eggs with wood beads. This is from Hobby Lobby. I just incorporated a few larger speckled eggs as well. All of the jars are either Ray Dunn or this one is a magenta, which is also you can find at Home Goods. Look how cute this cup is with the bunny head. It says bunny love. And then over here I have um, just like a cute rolling pin that says Happy Easter from Ray Dunn, a few different little spatulas. Surprisingly, I didn't have any Easter towels, so I just have this farmer's market one with a buffalo check. And then over here in our coffee station, this little mug that says Hip Hop Hooray in our coffee station here. Don't mind the splatter, Chris just used it for some coffee. And then I have one of those cute little Easter cups that I got the Target Dollar Spot to hold my liquid IVs. because I take one every day. And then I have this little sign that says made with love. Then over in the corner here, this was actually from an antique store that I purchased a long time ago. I think I was 16 when I purchased this. And I just love it so much. I want it to be on display. So I just took a little glass cake stand and put a little cute tea towel on there. And last we have the butler pantry and as you can see more carrots <laughs> I just put a ton of different styles of faux carrots in here and made like a carafe of carrots and then this is one of the other bunnies that um, I inherited from my grandma I love it so much I love the strawberries and then I have like a little basket of candy this candy is the candy that People can like pick out more so because that candy is more for display at the moment. Um, so this is like where Chris goes if he wants a little nibble of candy. Oh, I actually have three jars. I forgot because my mom gave me hers that she had on that. This was also for my grandma, but I love that he has a bunch of carrots. And then I have this cute little egg holder. I got this at Michael's and then just some faux eggs with this little chick next to it. I just thought he was too cute not to display somewhere. And then over here is pretty mundane because these I actually use these items. Um, obviously I'm gonna need to make some banana bread or use these for smoothies, these are past due, but I wanted to show you this cute little tea towel too. It says carrot patch open daily. And I just have that holding our bananas. 